Hello, this is the tutorial for how to uninstall mods from mlptf2mods.com in a Windows environment. Should you be running OS X or Ubuntu Linux, please refer to their appropriate video. In this demonstration, you will see the basic process used to uninstall all mods available on the site. In particular, we'll be uninstalling the same mods that we had installed during the installation tutorial. To make the scenario for this demonstration more practical, additional mods that will not be removed have been installed beforehand. It is also worth noting that while this tutorial is designed for mlptf2mods.com, it can be used as a general reference for uninstalling all Team Fortress 2 mods that are distributed in VPK format. With that said, let's get started. In order to remove any mod which you no longer wish to use, you are required to know the names of the files associated with them. Fortunately, there are a number of methods to discover the file names you are searching for. One of the methods which we will be looking at in this tutorial requires us to view the original mods download. So as you can see here, I have already re-downloaded Spike Spade from the site. Moving forward, we must navigate to where we installed our mods to. Open up a new Windows Explorer window to navigate to your custom folder. Remember, depending on whether you use a 32 or 64-bit version of Windows, in addition to what hard drive and install path you chose to have both Steam and Team Fortress 2 installed to, your file path may vary slightly. For this demonstration, we will assume Steam and TF2 were installed to the C drive using the default file path. For 64-bit users, your custom folder can be found by following C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom. For 32-bit users, your custom folder can be found by following C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom. Now that we have our custom folder open, we can uninstall the first mod we will be looking at. Spike Spade. As stated earlier, we must identify the names of any files associated with this mod. To do so, we will use the most straightforward method available. In the window open to the redownloaded mod, double click on the zip file containing Spike Spade to open it. Here we can see the original VPK file we installed. Notice it is titled Weapon Soldier Shovel Spike Spade 2011 08 18 underscore dir dot vpk. This is the file we need to find and remove from our custom folder. Provided you have Windows Explorer set to be organized alphabetically in a list, it should be easy to find. Going alphabetically, weapons will be close to the bottom of the list. After weapons comes soldier, then shovel. Upon locating the VPK file, you will notice a cache file bearing a similar name. We will remove both of them by right-clicking on each file and selecting delete from the context menu that appears. If prompted, click yes agreeing to move the file to the recycling bin. Once gone, the mod is now what we would refer to as being uninstalled. It has honestly never been easier. So now that we have gotten rid of Spike Spade, it's time to remove the Team Colored Wonderbolt Wind Guards. To identify the file names of this mod, we are going to take a different approach than the method we just used by looking at the names of the original files. Due to how all mods are downloaded from the site or titled, we can use the basic information we already know about the mod to locate its associated VPK files. Starting with its general category, we know that the Wind Guards are categorized as a hat miscellaneous item so we scroll to view the mod starting with hats and miscellaneous. For the subcategory, we know it is classified under Scout since it is exclusively designed for the Scout. This next part gets a little tricky. Typically, the next value in the sequence would be what item the mod replaces in-game. However, this particular mod has the ability to replace various items belonging to the Scout. Therefore, it has been categorized as various. As you can now see, by using the method of deduction, we have identified the WinGuard's files without referencing the original download. Observing the text following the mod's upload date, we can see that we installed the mod to replace the earbuds, the planeswalker goggles, and the summer shades. Once again, simply right-click and select Delete to remove them. Alternatively, you can use the Delete key on your keyboard after having selected the mod. It makes no difference. Now that all the associated files have been removed, the mod is now uninstalled. Lastly, we will be uninstalling the Ponybook Intel replacement. This is a great opportunity to examine one other way to locate a mod's VPK files. Let's pretend for a moment that the only thing we know is that the mod is called Ponybooks. In this case, locating the mod is as simple as performing a search. From inside your custom folder, click on the search box in the top right corner of the window. If you happen to be running Windows XP, you need to click on the search button along the top bar and select all files and folders. In the search box, type Ponybooks followed by the enter key. The search should return six results corresponding with the three different VPK files we installed and their generated cache files. All that's left to do is delete the files. This time though, instead of deleting them one at a time, I am going to remove all six at once. To do so, I start by holding down the control key, then proceed to click on each of the files in the list. I can then complete the delete action like normal. 
Upon backing out of the search, you can see the files were successfully removed. That effectively wraps up the process of uninstalling mods from MLPTF2Mods.com on Windows. Remember, if you ever wish to restart Team Fortress 2, clean up all modifications, simply delete the folder titled Custom and create a new folder titled Custom in its place. Should you still have any remaining questions, be sure to check out the site's FAQ related to uninstalling mods. Links to the FAQ and other resources such as our email can be found in the video information below. Thank you very much, and enjoy!